If you didn't believe I had my goats trained to a chainsaw. All right, we are going to go check on that little black and white goat. He's, he's healthy. He just doesn't seem to want to get up as much as he needs to. So the interesting thing about that goat is when it was first born, it was strong. It was walking around doing great. And then it got weaker. And I was like, well, okay, this is weird. Maybe the mom's not feeding it. We tried to bottle feed it, didn't want to be bottle fed. So we tried a few other things. We gave it a little bit of vitamin B, just little things, just little bumps, you know, nothing crazy. We're not seeing any progress. We're, it's eating, we're getting it to eat, but it doesn't have any strength, which is really weird because typically if they're eating and they're warm, it's not very cold here. We have a heat lamp in there, it's fine. We noticed a few days that the little goat was um, breathing heavy. A couple, like every once in a while we'd go in there and just be breathing heavy and we couldn't figure out why. It didn't make any sense. The heat lamp's not too close. The other goats aren't breathing heavy. So I called my contact at Goat911, which is like a website you can use. And I use it occasionally when I have things that just completely puzzle the daylights out of me. And so I called my contact and she asked a couple questions. I told her all the little things, basically everything I went over just now. And she said she's seen it a few times over the last 30 or 40 years, but it's a goat with a hole in its heart. And a lot of times they will close, but if they don't close, you get the symptoms that we're seeing. His belly's full and his belly's full and he, he's, he's done, I mean, he's doing good everywhere else, but hey, yeah, very alert, but um, just not, yeah, see, he wants his mom. His mom will come over. Hi, mama. Hi, mama, is this your baby? Yeah, that's your baby, huh? Yeah, that's your baby. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, his heart is just going. His heart, I can feel it. His heart's just going 90 miles an hour. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong, Norma Jean? What's wrong? Yeah, you, yeah. You know, you, you know something's wrong? That's really interesting. She's been around. She's been around goats the whole time we've had her. I've never had her do that. Yeah. Oops. Is, is that the little one you want to smell, Norma Jean? Yeah. All right. So the mom's been really good about keeping this guy. You know, it's interesting. Its heart is really. Like, I can seriously feel its heart. Yeah, it's pumping like, cr oh my God. All right, I'm gonna grab another goat and just see if we're getting the same. Come here. Let's, I just wanna see if this other goat has the same. Whoa, 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 watch it, little guy. Hey. Oh no, it's not even close. So this little one right here, obviously I've kind of scared it, I picked it up. But its heart, its heartbeat isn't like thumping like crazy. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research before I do anything. But um, she's the, the the woman I speak to on a fairly regular basis has always given me really good advice. So I'm gonna reach out to another resource, and check, see if she has the same. She thinks it's the same thing. But do some research as well. Um, and just see if uh, if everything, if everybody has the same opinion. Um, it makes a lot of sense, um, uh, but uh, it's also sad. So we'll figure it out. Norma Jean needs some love. Yeah, you need some love. Oh yes, you need some love, don't you? Nobody's loving you around here. No, the goats, the goats aren't loving you. Oh, Norma Jean. Oh. Oh yes, such a good girl. 
All right, well, I'm gonna head up to Herman's. I got a few things to take care of up there. All right, the boys and I are here at Herman's. We're gonna check on the goats. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't think I've ever seen this from our goats, not once. And when I say not once, not once. I've never seen them poop. We, it's only been two days. It's been two days since we checked on them. I've never seen them do that, ever. Okay, they're gonna go get water. I'm gonna show you what kind of damage they've done in here because they've been in here for uh, three days now. Yesterday I didn't come up because I had to go into the office, but this is what it looks like, okay? So this whole area was all blackberry bramble, okay? This whole thing, so that's all been eaten down. They've started doing some, some damage in here. This is a little too high in here. I may have to come in and, and, and get that pushed down a little. They've eaten all this in here underneath this tree. I think it's a hazelnut tree. They haven't really gotten in here, so that's good. They haven't really done much damage in here. Just a little here and there. Oh wow, they, they really cleaned this out. They clean this out pretty good. All the low stuff they've cleaned out. Um, I'm also checking the fence line as we walk, just to make sure that we don't have any issues with the fence line, because that's something, you know, I'm also keeping an eye on. Oh yeah, look, they've gotten all in here. They've gotten all in here. You know, this is the area I was saying would have been a real nightmare to try to cut my way through the other night, but now, you know, just walk it, walk right through it. There's one of my property line posts. Right there. They've done quite a bit. We'll help them get some more done in here. And then like, this is this is what Big Leaf Maple does when you cut it back um, to the stump, is it just shoots out a ton of, of growth. And this is, I love this stuff for feeding the goats because it's just the right height and they do a lot of damage. They eat a lot of it back, but they don't really kill it. They just, they'll eat the little bits and the, the taller stuff will go. And then you can cut the taller stuff off and it does it all over again. Let's go check on the goats. Let's go see how they're doing. How you guys doing? How's all the babies? One, two, three, four. There you go. So, they're doing good. They're doing good. They're still, I mean, there's still some low brows. There's a lot of low brows still. Um, like right back in there, there's a bunch of low brows along over in there, there's a bunch. The fact they're laying down and just chewing their cud that tells me they're they're full. They, they they've been eating all day. They're happy. They're not hungry. And that's all you can really ask for. I'll show you kind of how I squash the, the, the feed down over here for the, the goats. And you can see, here come my goats. They know what's up. So this is the bit that you gotta be a little bit on the spry side to do. Because as you're walking out here, if you fall, it's gonna hurt. It's blackberry bramble. You can see now there's a big bowl right here. And my goats are gonna come right in through here and they can come in here and they're gonna start eating the way through all this bramble. And this is all at height that they can reach now. And then they can go in here and they can do the same thing over there and around that apple tree. And slowly, they'll clean the whole entire area for me. And it's just one more method that I've been using to manage <clears throat> the bramble and the scrub trees and all that underbrush. Um, underneath all the big trees, the firs and oaks and maples and 
big cherries and stuff like that we have around here. It's kind of one more method, but here's here's the cool part. If you didn't believe I had my goats trained to a chainsaw, yep, they know what's up. They know what's up. All right, you boys almost done? Yeah. All right, the boys are almost done. It's getting dusk here. It's been a long day. Had to. Get, had, I had meetings all morning long, and then this evening I had to go and get, I should say early evening, I had to go get new tires on the red pickup truck. I mean, you, I guess you gotta do it every five years or so. It's the first real set I've put on there. So, uh, yeah. We had a good evening. It's nice, nice weather. The boys were able to get out and stretch their legs a little. Reba! <laughs> Come here, babies. Come say hi. Come on. Oh, hi, babies. Oh, yes. Hi, sweets. She's, oh, yes. Oh, kisses. Okay. I want, I'll take those kind of kisses. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Love. Love. Lots of love. Oh, you like your love. Okay. Okay. How you doing today? Yeah. Were you barking last night? Yeah, you were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were barking last night. What were you barking at? The moon? Oh, the moon. Okay. And anything that goes bump in the night, okay. And what else? Nothing? Okay, that's it. You want to say anything to the folks at home? You want to say anything to the folks at home? No, no, no. You, 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 yeah, but we, we don't, you can't give me kisses on camera. Okay? Anything you want to say to the folks at home? No? No? Just, oh, air licks? Okay, she loves you all. Reba loves you all. She just wants to give you air licks, okay? Lots of air licks, okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.